going to show you how I'm doing here. I got a little head and I thought, hey, I should make a video on this. Anyway, um, let me bring you up to speed of where I'm at. Uh, but I'm making a wooden mallet out of a chunk of pallet. All pallets have on their uh, main members, they have some really hard wood usually that they're using. It's usually work really good. So, so I had this chunk of a pallet here that uh, took off these boards. And those those nails don't come out easy at all. They they always break off for me. So anyway, I took off those boards there. And one of the snags you have, as you can kind of see in here, is we've got some nails here. Those nails just pull through, and they're like I said, they're really hard to pull out. They use glue on the nails and whatnot. So anyway, what I did is I just banged those off, and then there was uh, I just used my chainsaw, cut a section off right here. And we'll come back over here, show you where we're at here. My shop and my shed. So you got three nails here. And I'm actually going to make two of them because this one here, normally on the the image that I found on the internet, um, this is really just two by four. But it's hard wood. And these, these things are very hard and durable. Um, I'm going to make two of them. The first one I'm going to make here is just the width and the length here. So this is three and a half. This is an inch and a half here. And I'm cutting in the handle with my radial arm saw. And I'm, I came in this one side here, cut, I uh, marked down here for the cutout that I'm doing right now. I cut out here and then the, with the round of the blade, basically what it's doing is on the back side, I'm gonna bring this up to here too, but as you cut out here, it's gonna leave a taper in the middle here for the blade. And I want that to be in there as part of the strength of the handle rather than just a square end here. This is just a cheap, dirty way to, you know, I saw some mallets and stuff on the internet and I thought, well, heck, I've got some, I've got some uh, pallet wood here that I could just make one out of. Just showing you how to do this with some simple, basic tools to make a, a mallet. You could probably do this with a skill saw. Um, I've got this radio alarm saw, keep everything square, so I'm just going to use this. But you can probably do the same cuts with a skill saw if you're careful um, to keep everything lined up that way. But it, I'm sure it's doable. So I will, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut through these other parts here and bring this up to speed. Um, and then what we'll do is we will work on cutting an angle. I've got a couple other saws that I can use to cut an angle out of here just to finish that rounding out to get my get a basic thing started. But if you want just basic, dirt, cheap, um, wood mount's gonna be really strong because it's all one solid hardwood material. And this is just a basic how-to to throw one of those together. off along here okay so I got the blade adjusted up where I can bring this it's got a 45 degree angle in there and I've got it lined up for the what I did is I can look through the groove here and line it up with the base of the teeth of the, it's on a 45 degree angle so I'm just looking through straight and I see the edge of the teeth on the end of the hole right here and it's I mean honestly it's ballpark roughish it's it's okay if it's not exact um, I've got this clamp here to help hold it and so we're gonna go ahead and cut this angle here and then we'll flip around and do the other one in fact I think I might actually <clears throat> get another clamp over here let me do that really quick. All right, that's going to help hold that down. Safety glasses on, ear protection on. This is pushed back. So we're going to go ahead and cut on this and watch it really carefully and make sure we're 
to go, but this clamp should hold this on here to keep my hands protected. So here we go. All right, let's show you this. You can probably see a bunch of it by the angle, but uh, let's check this out. So you can see there that blade cut right down to the edge there. Got to chisel off a little bit, but it cut down a match to where the saw ended. It's going to give me a nice bevel for the hammer there. So we're going to flip this over and we do this other side. But I think what I'm going to do, instead of having this here underneath, I need to somehow have that more attached to here. So I'm going to try this. Give myself a little bit more leverage there. All right. So here we go. You can see that went, I don't know if you can see that, but kind of just there's a little bit of joint right there where it didn't cut all the way down to here, but that's okay. I can chisel this off. But there's your basic outline of a of a wooden mallet. Cut just yeah, like I said, you can cut, I'm sure you can cut. It'd be trickier, but taking just a skill saw, putting it on a 45, making sure everything's adjusted up there, putting your line on there. And you can probably do this with a skill saw. You might not need to have a a uh, radial arm saw to do this but that's the basics of it if i fortify these angles here and make it kind of a, you know the octagon like a stop sign if i do that that'll just make it that much easier when it comes down to uh, uh wood turning it i'm going to go ahead and get this adjusted a little bit and uh do some trimming here okay so to find out where to cut my 45s here the top here is an inch and a half so we're going to divide that in thirds, and that will tell us where the bottom of the cut needs to be. Marking it at half inch marks to get that pretty centered. And that being a third, if we adjust the saw for doing that, I got it marked here and here. So now what I'm doing, putting that up against the edge of the saw blade here on the far side. And I'm just lowering this blade until we hit that mark. Do the other side and line this one up. Let's see, I need to put marks on this again. All these sides. So this one, got closer, there's a line right there. In fact, I can break that right off. You can see the angles coming up there. All right, so here's the story here. Um, I got a table saw that I might be able to do. This is just so high that uh, I'm debating on pulling my table saw out. I got a portable bench saw. Okay. This is what I got set up with my table saw. I got a spacer in there. If I can see my finger. I got a spacer in there to kind of help to sit in there and to guide. So Because I don't have very much spot on the base right there. So got a spacer in there to help support that going through. There's a huge gap in between there. So that's not that bottom piece is not going to get caught and thrown back or anything. But I've got this set up to cut that angle there. Here we go. There's that one again. We're just going to roughen it out. So we're going to go and do this one next. All right. Do this one again. Okay. There we are. Take these pieces off now and we're going to... We'll chisel the rest of that. All right, guys. So here we go. I uh, actually didn't have this on before I finished on the, my woodworking vise on my bench here and uh, used handsaw actually um, when I was going through this I noticed there's some nails a little bit longer still sticking in there so I'm not going to be able to turn this and so um, I just took my handsaw here stuck it in my vise and cut those off on an angle and I'm actually just finding that just a simple uh, using the file here 
to just round these corners down really well. The chisel wasn't going to work as well either. I mean, it would work except for where it was going to hit these. And I've got a pretty good file here with round side as well, so I can round some of these areas out if I want. Just kind of tearing off some of this wood around here, smoothing it up better. tune up some of these edges and stuff like that but there you go a uh, self-made wooden mallet out of a piece of pallet huh that rhymes anyway yeah so there you go I'm gonna make another one like I said with this other block here I'll probably take some of this block like here and uh, turn that glue two of these together and make another one but uh, Anyway, just make a bigger one if I need to. Um, appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the channel and um, like and subscribe to the video if you if you like this and appreciate your input and your feedback. Any comments or whatever, make put them in the uh, comment section there. But uh, appreciate your time and hope this helps you out. And uh, this is acting out. And uh, see you in the next video.